I came to San Francisco Heritage, the Haas Leanthal House. It was in March of 2011. Um, I always wanted to see the inside of this house. And I had just moved back to San Francisco. And I was feeling a little disconnected, like I didn't have a connection. My work was in Marin County, which is really close by. And I felt like I needed something. I always was interested in history and architecture. So I came by the house one day and they were open for tours. I came in and I had a tour and I loved it. I often will go and look at old homes, old buildings whenever I travel. The house is made of fir and redwood. It was resistant to fires and bugs. And as you can see, we withstood the 1906 earthquake. The architect's name was Peter Schmidt. He was from Bavaria, Germany. Many architects of that time had their own little signature. If you look right under the witch's cap and you see those tiny little flowers up there, that's a signature of Peter Schmidt. The color of the house is the original color. Many houses of that time were like stone or terracotta, gray, uh, very much the way that they dressed, very subdued. Notice these storm doors are made of redwood. So in those days, visiting time was between three and five o'clock. If the doors were open, you were welcome to come on in and visit. If they were closed, it meant the family wasn't accepting visitors or they were away. So come on in. Oak was the most expensive wood in San Francisco and they really used it for the inside of the home. So what they did in this festival is they painted the wood to look like oak. We call it faux, or some people call it graining. Um, the house was built in 1886, and it's been lived in by three generations of the same family until 1972. It was donated to the Foundation for San Francisco Architectural Heritage. And then William Haas came from Bavaria, Germany. He was 16. He was born the same year as the Gold Rush. Many men from Germany were coming out here because there was discrimination. So people were coming out from Germany, from all around, and he came with his brother Abraham. First they came to New York, they worked on the um, railroad, then they made their way to San Francisco. They had a cousin in the grocery business. It was called Leopold and Haas. Later on, that became the Haas brothers, and that's how they made their living. And it became very successful, it supported the gold rush. And then he had this house built in 1886. He married Bertha Greenbaum, whose family was also from Bavaria. They lived in this neighborhood. They had three children, Alice, Florine, and Charles, which we can see over here. When William had the house built, uh, he wanted everything that was most modern. So most of the furniture you're seeing in this house is original to the house. It's American-made furniture, but it's copies of European designs. Grandfather clock from Bavaria, Germany. It's original to the house and it keeps time. And so the doors on this side are oak. And as we go inside the living room, the first parlor, which was only used on special occasions, this side of the door is mahogany. This is the family room. It was used every day. It was comfortable and warm. It's redwood, and redwood is really warming. Over here we have a Numidian fireplace. It's from Africa, from Egypt. And this is a John Belter chair. Um, if you want to look at it, it's a rosewood. And what they had to do is they had to shave this very thin and then they wet it. And it's actually one piece of wood. Okay, so here we are in the dining room. Dinners in this family were very important. It was a time to get together, to be social, uh, lots of family dinners. They had a German cook, and being in the grocery business, they had the best food available to them. The wood in this room is oak. Again, we have some more of that faux um, simulated oak wood. It's actually underneath is redwood, but it's painted to look like oak. And that's something that Victorians did, was to um, imitate something more expensive. Here we have an electrolier. It's an arts and crafts style. We call it a six up and a six down, because we have six gas going up, 
and then six electric bulbs going down. And you might want to take a real close look at the beautiful flowers. So the needlepoint on the chairs is actually from 1976. It was to coordinate with the bicentennial of America. So this is the only thing that's like modern. But most of everything in the house will not go over like the 1930s. The wallpaper is anaglypta or Lancrusta wall tin. It's a varnish cork and linseed oil. In this style, you get to pick out a pattern and then they stamp it out and let it dry. I like to point out the hardware because in Victorian times they really spent a lot of attention on detail. Oh, I love wood. My father was a woodworker. I love the smell of fresh wood, especially when it's like chopped or cut. I love wood. I think it's beautiful. Uh, and this house is obviously full of great wood. And often when tourists come through, they, they can smell the wood. Um, I've been told the house has a specific kind of odor and it's, it's all that wood.